Hello, live chatters. It's Douglas Block, Douglas George Block, born on George Washington's birthday, February 22nd, 1949. Now, let's, let's, let's face it, boys, I don't look like I'm 71, do I? Susan Jones, nice to see you. Jason Clulo, Prozac made me worse. Yes, it made me worse. Hey, the blockheads around the globe are here. Hey, anybody from the UK? It's only uh, 7 p.m. there, but you remember to come. It's daylight savings time in the United States of America, meaning it stays light until 7 p.m. in Portland, Oregon. And it's a beautiful sunny day. We've had such a mild winter, and I'm going to be on my bike and be so happy. All right, who's here? Bandus Nina Mina. Why can't depression be forever? Why would you want it to be forever? 3 a.m. where you are. What, what's, Alicia, where are you? What part of the world are you from? How's life? Uh, pretty good. Um, let me move this uh, hot chocolate out of the way. Hey, James D. from Scotland, 7 p.m. there. All you UKers remember the time. Dave Durango, I haven't heard from you in a while. The Chocolate Factory. Hunter, yes, I've missed you too. Uh, are you aware? Is there any advice on obsessive thoughts? Lots. I did a video called uh, How to Get Rid of OCD or How to Be Free of OCD. Lazar Maria, uh, Chocolate Factory number. When you force yourself not to think something, you will... Think about it, so stop forcing. Absolutely. That's one of the things when the when the thoughts are boom, 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 hitting you. Ah, you just watch them go by like um, clouds in the sky or leaves down the river. Hey, my counter is not working. Can anybody tell me how many people are watching at this point? Oh, 36. I got it. Okay, it is working. Well, what do you think? Uh, you keep thinking about swallowing. Probably not a good idea. Candace Marie, nice to see you. Stephen Danette. Sick and maggot, haven't seen you before. Are you aware when your brain has latched onto obsessive thoughts, it's working hard? Run, walk, and exercise. I agree. Andrea, nice to see you again. Uh, sick and maggot. I love you. I love you being here. I love your name. <laughs> I've been dealing with that in GAD, MDD, Major Depressive Disorder, PTSD, for 30 years. Wow. Three major episodes a year? <laughs> it will pass. Good for you. You're a trooper. All right. Who else has any questions here? So um, today I want to give a shout out to Alan Hoffer, my math professor at the University of Oregon way back in 1973 when I moved here to become, become a math teacher. He was born in about 30, so he would probably be about 80. I guess he's still alive. He was a spry little guy, a brilliant math professor. Alan, if you're out there, happy birthday. His wife was also a Pisces. Any Pisces out here? Raise your hand. It's my favorite, 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 favorite sign. Jason D. Chom Chom's nice to see you also. Awaken Wolf, hello to you. Lazy Eye Ranch. All right, different world, haven't seen you before. Uh, Alicia, 3 a.m., yeah, you mentioned that. I'm trying, trying to catch up with the most recent. All right, um, no, new, I'm not new to your vids, but first to live. Well, thank you, Sigmund Magnum. That's a strange name, but you have some good points. Triscuits, Trickets, nice to see you. Um, can we do anything? About what? Abishak Bar Why? pulling strings. I'm currently going through a deep depression and suicide is always on my mind. Yeah, I'm writing a book about that. So if you, um, you're a Pisces. Hey, Laza Maria. Well, if you, uh, if you write me uh, an email, I'll send you a free manuscript of this book. There's a whole thing on hope. If I can find my little email address, which I didn't. Here we are. DouglasBlock at gmail.com. <clears throat> write to me and I will send you my, uh, my manuscript. Pisces is great. Um, the sign of sorrow, you can either become an artist, a healer, or a victim, or all three. Did anyone see uh, Noah Thompson posting? He's doing well in rehab. Yes, I know. I Thank you for sending that to me, uh, Tony Issue. Uh, where did he post it? Probably on his, uh, must have done it on his YouTube channel. Thanks for helping us with all your knowledge. You know what uh, Bob Dylan called it? Your pointless and useless knowledge. First time from Wichita. All right. I love Kansas. Isn't that where Dorothy came from? Do I have any experience with St. John's Ward? I used to have a lot of warts here, but I got... Oh, that type of ward. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's the mo one of the most popular antidepressants in Germany, but I've never really um, used it. Let me see. What will this do? Probably make me more on center. All right. Um, yeah, I'm right in the center of the screen. Pulling the strings. So glad you found us. This chat was the only thing I had to look forward to this time last year. Much better now. Long journey out of the abyss. Lazy Eye Ranch, good for you. What goes down must come up. I want everybody to know that Lazy Eye Ranch is modeling that if you persevere and wait and hold on, you will come out of a depressive illness. 
and C. Hey, Douglas, I just love all your videos, and I'm a Pisces. Well, I love Pisces, and, and you've got a great name. And first time from the UK, says Kenzie Sky. Had you know to tune in at 7? It's usually at 8. Larogue River, Oregon. All right. Thank you, Tabitha. Um, Jason says, I've taken uh, St. John's Ward, but it's not strong enough for me. Alicia So, so how long do you have to be experiencing symptoms of depression before being diagnosed? Well, in the DSM-4, it says, according to my book, Healing from Depression. By the way, this is a really good book. If you haven't had it, please get it at, at your Amazon.com dealer. My brother says it's on iBooks now. They've got a really nice EPUB of it. Anyway, two weeks. They say if you are having certain symptoms, uh, more than two weeks, and you may have depression, we are not diagnosing. But that, I'm just repeating to you what it says in the DSM-5. <clears throat> Low mood, chronic sadness, no energy, difficulty sleeping, no appetite, lack of sexuality, thoughts of doom. Doesn't that sound like fun? Oh, Finland, all right. Um, are you aware, how can you overcome depression with chronic insomnia? Well, there's a lot, I have a whole, I have a bunch of videos on, on, on sleep and insomnia. You might want to check them out. Lots of behavioral stuff, sometimes medication. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with insomnia. I used to have it. Uh, uh, go read a book um, called No More Sleepless Nights. By the way, <clears throat> last week we had, we had 90 people watching. Was that amazing or not? That was like an all-time record. Um, <clears throat> Hello, Doug. I'm Steve Williams from Canada. I'm struggling with depression. I feel defeated while looking for employment. Any suggestions? Can't even get out of bed. I'm losing hope. Watch my videos, get this book, and make sure you're in treatment. Actually, make sure you're in treatment should be the first thing. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> wow, Jim Jim from the UK. I've taken St. John's word a lot. It does take the edge off depression with me anyway, and I found I was laughing more and definitely raised my serotonin, but it makes you burn the sun. That's right. Very sensitive to light. Anyway, the person who said, How, what can you do about depression? Uh, Alicia So, are you from Hong Kong? Suspended until April 20th. Yeah, what do you, what do you, what's going on with you guys with uh, coronavirus, uh, the coronavirus? Not much here in Oregon, a couple of infections, but 17, 18, 19 deaths in Washington, all in the same area. Uh, is that affecting any of you guys? Are people closing schools? You know, I know it's done a ton to the stock market, un unfortunately. So, uh, Dave Durango just gave out his email address, goldhunter27 at gmail.com. Absolutely. Um, there he is if you want to chat with him. Uh, Purple Bell 75, it's strong horn. Do two things in mind. First, it'll pass. Second, it's not the destination, but the journey. Keep hanging there. You'll get better. Thank you, Purple Mentor 75. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the first thing, if you have bad depression, make sure you're in mental health uh, treatment with a psychiatrist, psychologist, you know, social worker, etc. And then also, as I say, if you go to my, uh, <clears throat> if you uh, send me an email, uh, the person said they were struggling, I'll send you a free copy of this, this diagram. Self-care activities to improve your mood. On the other side are all sorts, the other side are all sorts of other cool things. That's what I use every day because look, <clears throat> healing from depression is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing journey. Ask my friend Noah Thomas, who's in rehab, right? What, what are all the people who are struggling with alcohol addiction? I'm a recovering alcoholic, not recovered. I'm a recovering depressive. I'm a recovering person with PTSD. You got to, you know, stay, stay vigilant. 76 people. South China Morning Post tells us the death toll. Really, I, I love the South China Morning Post. It had a great article about someone with a pet alligator in, in Pennsylvania. You can believe it? And it was prescribed... By the psychiatrist. By the way, pets are really important. Who has pets? How many people here have pets that are helping with their mental health? I want to hear your testimonies. Um, the whole COVID-19 thing is bringing you down. So don't just pay no attention to it. Keep yourself healthy. Know that you're strong and, and send prayers to everybody who's dealing with it. Do antidepressants make you feel worse? Uh, sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. That's why you need to be under the uh, care of a doctor. What if I have depression, don't have job, am I doomed? No, you're not doomed. I, I was struggling with that. I couldn't get in, employment for a lot. You know, I, I have a, a video that you can look at called How to Search for, How to Deal with, um, very popular uh, video. Look, depression is treatable and it will pass. So just make sure you're under someone's care. Job. Is that jib or job? Remember Steve Jobs? Okay, let's try it again. S-E-A-R-C-H. By the way, uh, 
So what about pets? I'm, on my new book, I'm writing a lot about pets and mental health. Your cats help a lot. Yes, absolutely. Everyone is focused on being reactive rather than proactive here in the U.S. Thank you, Jay Dixon. I agree. I think it's, 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 it passed before, but I went a long time with many successes, forgot all about it, and then it blindsided me. Yep. No, don't give up. North Strong, you came out of it before. Keep telling yourself, the depression passed before, and it's going to pass again. Okay? And here's, here's my four words that can save anybody's life. Ready? Here they are. The, uh, those of you who are fans of mine know these four words. This too shall pass, okay? So, North Strong, you, you came out of the depression before, it will happen again. Mike has a very supportive what he wants to eat, yeah. Uh, well, since, since he's here, some doctors do good, uh, but oftentimes Western medicine has bad side effects. All right, Miles R. Hello, Douglas. Hailing from New Jersey. I love New Jersey, right across the river where I grew up. Appreciate your videos at this time. Much love to you all. Every life has value. Never forget that. Thank you. Thank you, Miles. Really appreciate it. Crashed my car this week on Prozac. Well, was it the Prozac? Who knows? Um, I once crashed my car in Klonopin. A Jack Russell dog. Aren't they cute? I think you'll get 90 people more today because the Connor Ross is affecting many badly. Yeah, well, this too shall pass. I mean, remember the Hong Kong flu back when I was in high school? Many of you were not born. Is anybody my age? I bet there's nobody here over 71. Psyching is a great exercise. Absolutely. Oh, my God. I, how, I would not be sane without it. I suffer from depression from class 12th. Yes, I've had it since I've been a kid. What about medica meditation pulling strings? I'm not quite sure what that means, but meditation is very good for anxiety and depression. It's a wonderful practice. 79 people were only 12 minutes. In the hey, we haven't had any donations. Oh, my goodness. My, uh, this coronavirus thing is affecting my views. We've gone down 33%. And uh, yeah, yeah. Where, where, where is David Holden when we need him? Uh, how about uh, Taco Platter from Canada? He usually uh, contributes $5. Yes. This is fully supported by listener, uh, listener donations. Or, or is it, yeah, viewer donations, right? Like OPB. I have to give my OPB contribution today. That's Oregon Public Processing. Broadcasting. Anyway, let's see if anybody can, even for $1.99, uh, click on that little dollar sign down below, the live chat, uh, super chat uh, sign, and I think you can do as little as 99 cents. You're 83. Wow. Thank you, Jason. Five, five pounds. Jason's is a mensch. And see, you're 30, 83 years old. Wow. I'm scared about being 80. Of course, I was scared about being 16, 70. How, how do you stay well? I want to hear your, your um, what do you call it? Your secrets. The birds flew, swine flew, and AIDS. Well, AIDS, of course, was a scourge. Uh, very, very different than, than the, the, the AIDS. A million times more horrible than the coronavirus. Pamela Melton, yes, I know. I've been out of pocket for a while working on CBD. Yes, I have many cats. They help me so, so much, especially any of them at night. Yes, um, one of the stays close to me is Pamela Melton. It's nice to see you again. I love when people come back. back. You look younger than 71. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm working at it. All right. Uh, what else do we have? German Shepherd, cat. Yeah, see, animals are so cool. Rescue Greyhound. Have to stay alive for my beautiful boy. Very good, Joe West. Look, I have a chapter in my new book called Pets Can Keep You Here. I know many people who are desperate, who were thinking of ending their lives and they remember their pet and, and decide to change their mind. They're, they're like children. Anything can keep you here. Life is precious. Every light is precious. Every life is precious, yes. Um, a lot of stuff about cats, which are my favorite. No, not too many dog lovers here, but for the right dog can be really cool. Dave Weston says, I'm glad I found this channel on YouTube. Well, thanks. Uh, Oh, yeah, Jason got the first donation started. Thank you, Jason. Uh, anyone hear about the more deadly virus in Africa spreading is now? Yes, I actually have heard of it. Don't know what it's called. They're using us like batteries and feeding off all those non-human parasitical entities called archons. Not quite sure on what, I, what you mean, <laughs> authenticity seeker. All right, Wally Doodle, Lazy Ranch. I watch goats on YouTube all the time, and the different farm sanctuaries, they calm me down. Yes, farm sanctuaries are wonderful. I'm allergic to cats, so is my brother. 
Jay Dixon, thank you for your $5 donation. People must be at Costco buying toilet paper instead of chatting here. I'm finished my post-yoga stretches while chatting. Busy even on Sundays. Jay Dixon, that's the way to stay well. Okay, on my 70th birthday, I gave a speech. Okay, there's an acronym I use for how to stay well past 70. And here it is. A-C-E. Does anybody know what A-C-E stands for? Just take a guess. What does the A stand for? Or the C or the E? I'll let some guesses come and then I'll tell you it's the secret. Uh, and C at age, age 83 knows this. 81, 78 uh, visitors, two donations in 15 minutes for 25% of the weight. There are two bogs, dogs, a pit bull, and an American bulldog mixed with English bulldog. Thank you. I, I've got to get, go get my parrot, Deegan. He loves watching you. Hey, I've, I'm a parrot fan. What goods are long-term insomnia? Well, uh, there are antidepressants in low doses. Elevil, Remeron, and Amitriptyline. Talk to your doctor. But you can these antidepressants, I've been doing Elevil for, uh, for 23 years. A long queue for toilet paper. What is going on? Why are people so scared? You do active cycling every day? I used to do it four or five times a week. I do it. Uh, a stands for antidepressants. Alicia, so good. Good guess. No, I, I'm allergic to antidepressants, but that was a very good guess. Uh, amazing week. Recovery does happen. Thank you, Don. Tell me what was good about this week. Oh, you love seeing Bruce? Well, let's see if we can get a picture of him somewhere. I don't know if I brought my... Here's my uh, Apple Watch. Watch this. Where is my, do you hear that ringing, boys and girls? Here it is. What happens when you're absent-minded? You need an Apple Watch. All right. Trouble at U.S. Outbreaks Epicenter. I'm, I'm showing a picture of Bruce for Susan Jones, by the way. That's what all this um, is about, if I can find it. Albums. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, here is Bruce Block, my cat, my Persian cat. Doesn't he look adorable? How's that, Susan? All right, uh, what do we have here? The Gnostics tried to warn us about arch the Archons. I don't know who the Archons are, actually. Uh, hey, Doug. Well, long story short, I started ex explicating reality itself and have developed pure OCD. I constantly have existentially dark thoughts that freak me out. Do you have any advice? Yes, go to a good psychologist, and there are medications that can help. When those thoughts come, just let them go by. Ah, Mohammed, nice to see you here again. Try psilocybin magic mushrooms? Well, they are being tested in the, U in, in the United States. Well, we've had two donations, Jason and also, um, I forgot, Bruce, yes. Uh, if I could get a leopard as a pet, there are beautiful animals pulling the strings. In response to people buying toilet paper like crazy, I can only think of a quote from one of my favorite books, Dune. Fear is the mind killer. Thank you. Wow. You know what they say in AA? Uh, by the way, no one's got the ace thing, so I'll tell you in a minute. Fear is the dark room. Tell me if anyone has ever heard this. Don't you love puns? Fear is a dark word, room where negatives are developed. Isn't that great? Well, okay, ACE, A-C-E. Stay active, stay connected, stay engaged. Those are the three things for successful aging. Activity, move, walk, ride your bike, hike, dance, do your garden. Connected. Human beings are social animals. We need each other. If you don't have a family, uh, reach out to your friends. If you don't have friends, uh, a volunteer somewhere and stay engaged. Yes, we all have to have something to look forward to. We all have something to focus on. on. My engagement, YouTube videos, this wonderful ministry. It's a ministry, boys and girls. Uh, this live chat ministry. I mean, you, I know you're doing, you're getting at it, something out of it, but I'm getting something out of it even more. And A, the 12th step, we have to give it away in order to keep it. So what do you think of ACE? Stay active, stay connected, stay engaged. Work for you guys? Where can I buy magic mushrooms? Well, I'm not quite sure. It's not quite legal in the United States, but in Colorado it's legal. Sorry to hear the restaurant being alone can take its toll. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. So uh, 
Meetup groups. I don't know. Do they have them in the UK? They have them in America. It's my first time and I'm enjoying this. Well, great. Nice to hear from you. Ask me any question you want on depression recovery. I'm an encyclopedia of knowledge. Do you know what DB, false evidence of hearing real? Thank you very much. Very good. And fear is a dark room where negatives are developed. So many people have so much fear and panic about this, this virus. Not to say it's not serious, but Mark Glenn says, I'm reading my book, Healing from Depression. And what do you think? Mark, this book should be a bestseller, but it's not. I don't know why. It's really helpful. I don't like being alone anymore. It scares me and I'm fearful. I just feel just like I've been abandoned in life. Well, North Stone, what about getting an animal? And more important, what about joining a group? Or I hope you're really seeing a counselor. I mean, that can make a big difference. Ah, Michael Stageman, where can I buy my... Is he here? I haven't seen him in ages. All right. We have 81 people here. It's one third of the way through. I really need to get that book. Well, it's on Amazon.com. Fear is, is face and everything. Fear is face and everything and rise. I'm not quite sure what that means. Lady Mandara, Kai Doug from the beach in Chile. Ha ha. A very long country. Entire last name up to now as well. Feel nervous, agitated, and restless. This is, is this GAD? It sounds like it. Is there any depression which doesn't affect legal? Yes. Libido, there are many of them. You need to go see a, a good psychopharmacologist and they can give you all the information about antidepressants don't, don't affect libido. I think, um, well, I'm not going to say what I think. You should go to an expert. So many people here and my words get lost. Yes, there are so many people. Well, say it again, different world. I will definitely uh, uh, make sure I, I get your question. Yes, there are many people here. Well, they didn't start out like that. You know, when I first came on live chats, there were like 10 or 15 people. Anyway, uh, so different world, ask your question. Uh, I will essentially um, uh, look for it, okay? Uh, I have a hard time with ac and &E. I'd be interested to know some ways to improve all these. Well, getting active. There's lots of books on how to exercise. Great book. Thank you. I love reading it. Great book. Highly recommended. Yes, yes, yes. How much is the book? I think it's only $19.95, but at Amazon you can get it for $15. Anthony Olson! Anthony Nelson has been reading my manuscript and really likes it. Ah, uh, psilocybin is legal in most countries. Illegal, yes, it is. You deserve a lot more subscribers. Well, thank you. I think so, too, although I do have 57,000. Uh, I know what you're going through is feeling the same as you. Don't believe what your brain is telling you. That's right. Higher ed promotions proves you are no loser or croc. Absolutely. Thank you, Anthony. And that's a, that's a video I did. Don't bring, believe what your brain is telling you. Uh, Pamela, I'm going to get your book on Amazon. I have my daughter order. Thank you. You're more than more than welcome. Oh, I love the Gnostic text. Thank you. Oh, so what happened to the person who said I couldn't, uh, different worlds? Ask your question. Uh, you had a bad day, but you're still here. Good, because bad days are followed by good days. Uh, go to Amazon.com, Lazar Maria, and you can find the book on the Internet. Ridiculous what people are charging for hand sanitizer at Amazon, eBay. I don't like that stuff. Why are people just wash your hands with sub and water? Oh, Kay Bailey, nice to see you. Don Fortier, the broken brain can heal. Yes, thank you. I have a, a video called How Do You Heal the Broken Brain? Don, I want you to talk more about this. So many people think when they're in the deepest, darkest depression, they'll never get better. Uh, I, I think I just did a video, didn't I, or not? Oh my God, what was my last video? I'm having one put up tomorrow called Is It Hard to Reach Out for Help? Um, oh, the one I did was Living in the Future, but there was something I just did recently about, uh, maybe it's in my book, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do a video on that. Um, yeah, it's called You Can Be Restored. Absolutely. I, I felt I was toast more than one time and I just bounced back. Michael Stabin, thank you. I, can I take this while I am on antidepressants? Or would that be a double dose? I'm not quite sure what you're asking about, but you should definitely talk to your doctor. What's a healthy way to get out of depression after 15 years? That's what my book is about, Healing from Depression. Uh, start by exercising, find a good therapist, a psychiatrist, and connect with people. Uh, marijuana worsens anxiety and depression for some people and helps with others. It depends on the person. Madeline Roy, you're right. When, when the depression lifts, you do see the distorted thinking. Yes. See, when you're depressed, boys and girls, it's like your brain is on a drug. It's like you're looking through a funhouse mirror. You are not seeing things properly. 
Don't believe what your brain is telling you. Depression lies about the future. I'm going to put that there really. I'm going to, I'm going to put that in all caps. Okay. A lifetime of this is unbearable. Take it day by day, Nordstrom. Write me and I'll send you some stuff. I can't seem to connect to people. I do exercise and go to therapy. Well, Shlomo, um, maybe maybe there's some. Uh, maybe you can go into group therapy. That often helps. Looking into adult children of alcoholics. Yes, I know a lot about it. It's been around forever. It's excellent. Uh, I'm Adil, Adil from Pakistan. I've been diagnosed with treatment-resistant depression. I've tried everything except ketamine. Is there still hope for me? Yes. Uh, what about ECT? Have you tried that? Do they have ECT in, in Pakistan? It, it saved my life four years ago. Okay, different world. You sent it above again? Well, it's, damn it. Does anyone see different world's questions so they can tell it to me? I, I want to hear it. I want to see that. But is it possible to fight depression without meds? If we share our worst thoughts, people talk about meds, but I can't take any pills personally. Well, different world. Every single, I'm asking, every single depression I came out of was done without medication. I'm not saying, I'm not, you know, saying, you know, I'm great. I'm just saying that I have a treatment-resistant depression and my, my the, the, um, the depression I talk about in this book was, I came out of using a prayer, uh, it was a prayer ministry that helped me, ECT last time. Uh, yes, the brain can heal itself. Medications are great. They don't work for everybody. The most important thing is that you're seeing a good therapist and counselor. And there are other ways besides medication, uh, but definitely be under the uh, care of a psychiatrist. So that's your question. Uh, there's something called TMS, transcranial. Oh, I don't even know what TS means anymore. Transcranial magnetic stimulation. Yeah, they run magnets over your head. Oh, Mohammed, I know you always say the same thing every week. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Can the brain recode itself and retrain itself correctly to fix and heal, just like it had coded? Yes, yes, yes. There's a great um, article I just read called You Can Reprogram Your Brain. Don't you like that? Third IQ YouTube channel is great. We'll take a look at it. Thank you, Authenticity Seeker. You can... Okay, so who has heard of the term? By the way, we're due for, we're half hour into this. We're due for another donation. Uh, how many people here? We have 92 people. Oh my goodness, we hit 90 again. S someone is right. The coronavirus is bringing people here. Hey, uh, I already had six sessions of ABC, but it didn't fix it. Ketamine is my last hope. Ideal, I'm at six sessions is not enough. It's usually nine to 12. Talk to your doctor. Uh, Keep waiting until next week before checking out. Absolutely, one week at a time. So, does anybody know what the word neoplastic mean or neoplasticity? Okay, I want someone to tell me what that word is. It's a very important word. Very, very important word. Hey, Carrie Irving from Ireland, right? 10 pounds from Mark Glenn. I don't know who you are, Mark, but thank you so much. That was really generous. Let me answer, answer any question you have. It looks like you, you're with your partner in your little uh, YouTube Picture, 94 people, our new record. Let's see if we can break 100. New plastic, now neoplasticity does not mean new plastic. Brain flexibility, who said that? Smokey Melton, you got a prize. Send me an email and I'll send you a free copy of this chart. Self-care activities to improve your mood, right here. Yes, that's right. You're from the UK, that's right. Well, sorry, that's right, you're from the UK. I got you, uh, I got you mixed up with Patty Brady. Thank you, Kerry. Yes, so neoplasticity, how the brain will wire itself. Yes, so therefore, I don't care how bad you feel. I don't care what state you're in. I don't care how desperate you feel. I don't care how long you've had the depression. Tomorrow's a new day. I have seen people resurrected right here in the United States getting into politics. Look at Joe Biden, the American politician. Everybody had written him off for dead, and then came South Carolina and Super Tuesday. Within four days, he was the front runner. I'm not saying I'm going to vote for the guy, or maybe I will, but I'm just saying that there's an example of resurrection. Speaking of which, uh, I have to force yourself out of bed and get out of the house. Good for you, Alicia. So keep forcing yourself. Eventually, it will come easier. Teofane, my depression often expresses itself in anger and resentment towards others. That's true. That's a symptom. Well, I hope you're getting treated for it. 
Uh, neo, psilocybin is good for neoplasticity. Anything that affects the brain is good for neoplasticity. Prayer, exercise, meditation. The brain is incredibly amenable to change. Yes, it, do, it will improve. Jason, you are such a positive person. Thank you for being here. Oh, magnesium is very good, Lazy Eye Ranch. Uh, it, it, uh, you're playing the veggies in the week, mended a goat pen, you feel productive. Lazy Eye uh, Ranch, you're coming out of the abyss. It's also spring. Doesn't that help? Uh, what was I going to show people? Oh, we haven't seen her in ages. Julie Hayes. What is this? What is this? What does this image mean to you, everybody? Who is that, and what does this image say to you? I have a problem where I have intrusive thoughts all the time. I try to let them pass, and they always come back. Is there a cure for this? Yes, there is. I have a, I have a, a video on it, uh, but I would go read a book called Brain Lock. For a really good book by Jeffrey Schwartz called Brain Lock. Phoenix Rising. A phoenix string person? I don't know what that means. I don't think a phoenix is a person. It's a, it's a mythological creature. Uh, yes, hardest thing to get motivation going. Yes. The brain is mainly a fat organ, so I made a, fatty acids are great for the brain. That is true. A lot of fat in the brain. You know, if someone calls me a fathead, I take that as a compliment. Yes, well, you will be optimistic and you will be positive again. You can get everything back, uh, Nora Strong. Kinsey Psych, what do you think of Eckhart Tolle? I think he's a wonderful spiritual teacher. Uh, the Phoenix or the Firebird, you're right, either one. But the Phoenix, what's, what does the Phoenix represent? Rise from the ashes. Here, here's, here's the key. Ready? Any, any people follow the Christian faith? You know, Easter, the, the resurrection of Jesus? Well, the idea of resurrection existed many, many years before. It's a common theme in life. The phoenix bird is one such image. Uh, what happens when winter turns into spring? That's resurrection. When people come out of depression, Lazy Eye Ranch on this channel is being resurrected before our eyes. Right? Lazy Eye Ranch? Say it so. Renewal is possible. Thank you, Kay Bailey. Kyle from Texas? Uh, give me a call sometime. This live chat makes me feel a bit sane and less lonely when, when it's on. Of course, Jim Jen, you, 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 we need other people. We need connections. So remember ACE? Uh, you seem like a delightful person. Who have you got where you live that you're connected to? Physical exercise like uh, late weight lifting, weight lifting. Oh my God, swimming, cycling includes, improves mood. By the way. Uh, uh, what was the person's name? I forgot who I answered the question for. Yikes. Too many new people. Different world. Yes. I, you want to have a tattoo of it? You should. Anyway, different world. I, I answered your question, right? I, I tracked you down. Everybody in this... Look, we have, we have 94 people here. I want to say something to all of you. Three things. One, depression is treatable. Two, there is hope. And three, what goes down must come up. Everybody who is seeing me right now, write these words down. Depression is treatable. All things pass. What goes down must come up. Rising from the ashes reminds you of conquering depression. What a battle. Yes, Richie Mar Mark Norman. Absolutely. Yes, fresh fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, seeds, diet can help. Do not, do not, do not, if you're depressed or anxious, eat a lot of sugar. Whew. Put you on an emotional roller coaster. Plus the fact bacteria love it. Nordstrom, I'm tired of thinking and feeling. Thank you. Wish I was in Italy. $25. You are amazing. You know, I'm trying to book... Uh, a tour to Italy, but I can't get a, a tour in there because everybody's afraid to go there because of the coronavirus. Thank you very much. I think you live in New York, don't you? You live somewhere in America. Anyway, let's let's give a shout out to Wish I Was in Italy. He's, he is alone keeping this channel going. I mean, what a what a mensch as we say in Yiddish. I'm going to I'm going to call you the YouTube, the Douglas Block Depression Channel Saint. Thank you for these videos. Yeah, Rob Dryack, nice to see you again. Are you aware I'm stuck in a cycle of depression and insomnia? Well, uh, you can break out of the insomnia. It's horrible. I'm going to write down some. I look forward to this live chat every week. You're a light and inspiration. Yeah, Pony Girl, nice to see you again. Our ancestors never took any depressions. They're not fine. Well, no, a lot of them died, but that's not true. Some of our ancestors didn't end up so well, like Virginia Woolf. A new record, 100. Did we actually hit 100, Jason? 
I didn't see it, but I trust you. How heavy is the brain? Does it weigh more when you're depressed? No, it doesn't, Steve. It's all have to do with the circuits. Oh my God, I wish I could find this, um, this book, if I can just see it. I'll, I'll recommend it to you next time. It's called The, uh, the Upward Spiral. It's all about what happens when the brain gets suppressed. Susan Jones, wish I was in Italy, shout out. 101, 101 trombones. Yay, we've, we've, hit, we've hit a mark. Everybody watching, I'm, I really appreciate you're watching. I appreciate that you're reaching out for hope. We, we, we need to heal together. We need to heal in community. We're doing this live chat so we can all come together and work together to heal. It's not easy getting out of depression. We need each other. Yes, we are stronger people together. Why is magnesium good for depression, Nancy? It's actually good for anxiety. It calms the nervous system and the muscles. When I used to do a lot of bike riding and I had muscle spasms, I would take uh, magnesium. Wow. Jacob J. Hyde, fellow surfers, I feel free to check out my song pad and chin by Jason, my personal testimony. All right. So Jason Jacob Music has a channel or something for inspiration. You guys can check it out. Rob, uh, wow. Hope you're having a good day. I've been thinking about taking art lessons. Absolutely, Kenzie Sky. Creativity. Here. See this chart right here? Under... Uh, Creative self-expression, can you see that? Probably not. Anyway, somewhere there it says creative self-expression helps with depression. Are you kidding me? Music? Oh my, I have a, I have a depressed one who loves to sit outdoors and paint, paint landscapes. Look at, look at, Winston Churchill. Okay, who can tell me, you, you cares, what did Winston Churchill do when he was depressed? A, what did he call his depression? And two, what did he do when he was depressed? I want to hear it from you, you people from the United Kingdom. Uh, or maybe somebody from America. Okay, two things. What did he call his depression? And what did he do to get out of it? Pulling strings, it's nice that I'm not alone, even though I empathize for you. Yes, you are not alone. Nobody here is alone. And you know, you know what? Even if you're not around people, I believe we have a divine spark, a God consciousness in each of us. We can feel connected to the universe, to God, to infinite intelligence. Uh, remember that line, I am with you always? It's the name of a book I wrote. Uh, drinking alcohol will halt recovery. It doesn't work to self-medicate. Absolutely, Don. By the way, I think you're, I'm glad you're uh, feeling better. Mark Len, you are amazing. Yes, yes. Uh, when Winston Churchill called his depression the black dog, and whenever he was really depressed, he did watercolor paintings. Yeah, drawing is close enough. He painted. So the person who says they want to take a class in art, go for it. Mark, you are just the, the, a fountain of, of good information. Do a lot of painting on the sky, and I also try to work on my own comics. I say do it, of course, of course. Painting is wonderful. Music is wonderful. Drawing is wonderful. Writing. Are you kidding me? How can I be depressed when I'm writing? We're down to 99 viewers. What's going on here? Whatever happened to 100? Just joking. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for contributing. Remember, you are not alone, and you can come out of this depression, and you will. On that note, I'm going to take a break and have hot chocolate. Don't you love this yellow cup? I love yellow. It's a cheerful color. Also, who can tell me the name of this stone right here? Can you tell me the name of that stone? It's my birthstone. It's a beautiful stone. It's supposedly good for people with alcoholism and emotional instability. All right. One hundred and two. Wow. Thank you. Nice cup. Amethyst. Who said that, Kenzie Sky? It's an amethyst. You're absolutely right. No, no, it's purple. Amethyst. See the purple in there? I've self-medicated with alcohol for two years, but, but, but made things worse. Thank you, Anthony. Coco Cherry. It's nice to see you. Whoops, whoops. I just saw somebody say something about... Uh, I also had suicides in my family. Yes, well, that, that, that is true. If you've had a suicide in your family, you're more likely to feel that way. But guess what? Um, guess what? Uh, that is not your destiny. Your, your, your genetics is not your destiny. The past is not the future. I don't care what happened with your relatives. You're a new person with your own free will. Shlomo, I love it. Nice Yiddish, nice Jewish boy. Yes, uh, I missed my question up there. Okay, say it again. You understand why I can miss a question. We have a hundred, you know, people. 
uh, asking questions. You're going to have to ask it again. I just can't find it. So just ask the question the second time. I'll probably pick it up. Okay. Breaking the chain, pulling the strings. Yes, very good. Uh, does medical marijuana go along with antidepressants? Medical marijuana is usually for physical pain and other things. I sure when I'm depressed, I hate it. Yes, you just crash. It's an amethyst. Richie Mark Norman, I'm off antidepressants for one month now after eight years, feeling better for it. You can't beat music, nature, and exercise. Absolutely. They're, they're great. You're awesome, says Eric Berger Carson. I'm studying as a designer. I live with recurring deadlines. I wake up my alarm clock. I usually worry about my alarm clock rings. How can I stop worrying? Remember that when you worry, it's something that has yet to come. Bring yourself back into the present. You know what Mark Twain said? I've had a great many troubles, but none, most of them have never happened. Uh, every day is a battle because I'm at war with me. How about being compassionate with yourself, pulling the strings? I have a, I have a great video called Be Kind to Yourself. You know, there's a lot of good videos on this channel, I just realized. I don't know how I did them. Seven years, just one week at a time. One day at a time, thank you. Jem Jem, Leah, there's purpose out there for everyone, but sometimes it's hard to find. I wish you best of luck to find a purpose. Look, you guys are so good to each other. I want you to start exchanging emails and maybe, well, phone numbers if you feel safe, but at least emails. I want you in between this live chat to reach out to each other not just on Sundays at noon, but outside this live chat. Reach out, encourage, support, do all those things. All right, we're ready for another, um, another uh, contribution. Wish I was in Italy. Thank you again. Is there anything I can do for you? I at least should send you a copy of this book. If you don't have healing from depression, simply email me. Oh my God, we haven't had a single joke today. Douglasblock at gmail.com. How could this happen? Okay, Chris Geyser, who's no longer been here the last couple of weeks, he, ha he told me this one. He opened up, this guy is such an entrepreneur, he opened up the restaurant on the moon. I said, how's it going? He said, well, according to the customers, the food is good, but it has no atmosphere. My favorite, why did the Wizard of Oz scarecrow become a successful neurosurgeon? Well, he was outstanding in his field. And why did the witch in the Wizard of Oz not wear a flat hat? Well, there was no point in it. I want some puns from you guys. All right, Lazar Maria just went ahead and gave her email address and you have WhatsApp. Great, from Paris, I love Paris. Samaritans disappear on me when I need support. Really, the Samaritans are supposed to be there all the time. Okay, well, in America, uh, antidepressants didn't work for you, though. how did you recover then? With all this, the depression even hit you. What are you talking about? I was hospitalized four times. I've been suicidal. I had ECT. <laughs> of course it hit me. It's my whole life I've been dealing with it. Uh, a lot of the things I talk about in the book and a lot of grace. Uh, I've had my guardian angels, believe me. Uh, Saturday, Sunday at noon, it's 6.30 a.m. morning in Sydney, Australia. Well, Sunday at noon, Pacific Coast time in America, Rick, Richie March Norman. Okay, Madeline's giving your email. Yes, Madeline writes me a lot. She's a very, very social person, a very cool person. So uh, feel free to reach out to her. Kelly Burns, where's Kelly Burns? He's one of my great supporters and he's also reading my manuscript. Great idea about the email group, Doug, and sharing support. In a few weeks, I'll be up for that when my coursework is finished for my psychology. What, is VI, what does V-I-U-R-S mean? I have chest spasms because of my anxiety. Absolutely, that's right, that can happen. I'm on five milligrams of antidepressants. They really only take the edge off my anxiety. Well, better than nothing. You're in Indonesia? Wow, 2.30 in the morning, you must have insomnia. I feel like my depression is due to a segregated community I've been brought up with, and which hijacked my mind. Well, yes, a discrimination, uh, separation being cut off absolutely affects your brain. Well, you need to reach out and find other ways to compensate. You lost your will to keep on fighting? Well, how can we help you? <clears throat> because it's there. Your will to live is there. <clears throat> it's just hiding for the time being. <clears throat> Look, um, we are programmed. We are programmed to, to fight for life. You don't believe me? Drop somebody in a, in a, you know, <clears throat> in a, in a pool that doesn't know how to swim. They'll be hollering for help. 107 people, my God. <clears throat> what caused your depression? Rejection, loss of love, um, breakups of relationships. That's what caused my depression. 
Uh, 40 milligrams of, Lex of Silatalopren, uh, Silex, that's pretty cool. 846 p.m. in Spain. Yes, yes, yes. Can you recover from depression with exercise? Only if it's a mild depression, probably. If it's a deep depression, much more difficult. Uh, hey, Danielle. Yes, well, you know what? Danielle had a loss. I'm not going to be, you know, violate your confidence, but, you know, Danielle had a loss in her life, and I'm sure she's taking time to, to you know, take care of herself. I lost so much weight. I have to be meditating a lot to control my weight. Uh, how do I turn off slow mode? I'm not quite sure. Uh, but I've never seen so many. Um, I know I've never seen so many uh, comments come on so quickly. I need to. I need to turn up the slow motor. So we, we, we. These things come at a slower point. Different world. Just write one at email.com would be nice if everybody wants to exchange uh, kind messages. Um, what I might do is I might take these things down and start like a, you can write to me and I'll have like a group email and I'll send it out to everybody. That's not a bad idea. And then you can put other people on it. We can create like an email list. My dad passed away on, uh, on the 20th of January. Everything is good here. He's at peace. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you for sharing that. Let's, let's take a moment and go ahead and say some prayers for Danielle's father. Do you know that one of my group members died one year ago today? He was only 30 years old. He had an aneurysm in his brain. Isn't that sad? But he, we, God bless him, he made a recovery from uh, bipolar before that happened. So he was doing well. If you're coping, okay, there's no need. Uh, I was the kind of person that'd say, I told you so, I would not do so right now. Ah, uh, you poor you, you're trying to answer us all. Well, Kenzie Sky, I'm doing my best. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty good. The drug dealer. Yes, I take more drugs than you do. I take seven drugs. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, Danielle. Danielle is a beautiful, beautiful child named Annalise who uh, once time uh, sent me a video where he told, she told some really good jokes. Yeah, God bless your father. I know he's in a better place, and I happen to believe in reincarnation. Maybe he's come back in 109, 111. Is anybody keeping track of this? Hey. Look, it's my best friend Stuart right here. Hey, hey, Tart, I'm doing a live chat. I have 11 minutes left. I'll call you. We can work on that chest problem. Great. Okay. I'll do that. And by the way, everybody, say hello to Stuart. He's my best friend for 62 years. He's the reason I'm here. He saved my life during many depressions. Say, uh, say, Stuart, hello to everybody on the live chat. Um, hi, everybody. All right. He has your trip. Talk to you later. Uh, can I just say this chat is helpful? Love to you all. Love to you all, Leah. A very lovely person. Well, that's what my mother used to say. Rest in peace. My brain always finds a reason not to carry on. Whoops, whoops, whoops. What's going on here? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, I either feel terrified, hopeful, or just dead inside, feeling very numb right now. Everything can feel pointless. I know, but Adam, that's your brain. That's your brain misfiring. E -e -e. This will not always be this way. Yeah, Stuart is amazing. I should show you some pictures of him. We, we knew each other from the playgrounds of New York City. Uh, okay, funny films can help. I like airplane films. Yes, very true. Homer Rivera. Homer Rivera. Two years after I was struggling with depression, and thanks to advice on Douglas Black's channel, I feel well. I've done things I couldn't have dared before. <laughs> Homer, go for it. Yes, we are grateful that you're a dear friend of a beloved Douglas. Yes, I'm in Oregon right now. It's 12.49 p.m. Well, guess what, Purple Metal? So am I. Stuart is a star. What's up? Feeling okay so far besides the corona thing? I guess these are hard times for a hypochondriac. <laughs> corona, yes. MD Nixon from Aust Austria and Germany. 110 people watching. We are. You feel like you're dying? Well, yeah. Join the club. It will pass. I promise you. I'm tempted to stop my words because I'm depressed anyway. Well, Lorianne, don't do anything without talking to your doctor. I can tell you that. I cuddle my caps for an immediate moon lift. Yes, I think cats are wonderful. We, know, we all know about Bruce. 2150 in Finland, too. Yes, you guys are uh, nine hours. Uh, yeah, what's 12? And yeah. Please find a psychiatrist, all testing seekers, says Susan Jones. Very true. Gene Wilder's a hero of mine. He loved to paint. Yes, I love Gene Wilder. Do you ever see him in uh, all those uh, Mel Brooks films? You need psilocybin? Well, in America, there are ways to get it underground. I don't know where you are. 
uh, I'm so anxious I could scream. The police didn't help. Well, I didn't know what they were there for, but um, isn't it tough? How can I get your videos and books on insomnia and depression? Well, I have uh, a book on depression right here that you can order. Healing from Depression right here. If you go uh, type in the word insomnia or sleep disorder on this channel, you can basically uh, read about what I have to say about that. And uh, yeah, I find Maria Bamford inspiring too. Who is she, Neofame? Are you being stalked? Well, that's horrible, Oriana. I really, that's a horrible experience. I hope you're, that's, that's kind of, you know, gone away. Oh. <clears throat> Putin on the Ritz. That's very, very funny. <laughs> Who said I can't walk five miles? I did then, I did it anyway. I'm a liar, absolutely. Books great, Stir Crazy with Richard Peters, my favorite, Young Frankenstein's a blast, absolutely. All right, he's still out there. Well, I don't know. Can you get a restraining order? You need to talk to an attorney, I suppose. Robert Jenkins, you're back. Oh, $20. Sorry, I missed the live chat today. I'm doing okay. I know it's the all thoughts I can deal with, but my mind throws new ones at me. I can deal with it, though, because I know it's not the real me. I will always beat this depression. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Joe Tuff just wrote something. Joe Tuff, 101 at gmail.com. Loneliness, anxiety, and depression is a terrible, terrible combination. Respect to Douglas for taking his time to do this. Absolutely. I've gotten hooked on watching What's My Line from the 50s and 60s. That's a very, very good show. Big No No is currently in rehab. Yes, three weeks. He has a post on his channel. American comedy was diagnosed as bipolar. She was hospitalized several times and find, finally somehow finds humor in her struggles. And who is that? Uh, by the way, uh, thank you again, Robert. Uh, they have to catch them in action. Well, keep having them, you know, on the ball. So who is, uh, who is the person you're talking about who is diagnosed with bipolar? Was it uh, Luis? Uh, what's the thing? Oh, God. I forget her name. You have to tell me. When I wake up, my frontal lobe hurts and I feel foggy in the head. Well, you know, you probably have something going on in your brain. I don't know. But who is the person you were talking about who had bipolar dis disorder? Uh... Yeah, I know Patty Duke did, but she's an actress and uh, died recently. Please create that email address. Okay, Opal Tyndall, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll create it from what you guys said. Keep putting up your emails. Six minutes left, 10% on my, my laptop. What's going to go first? 104 people watching. How can you step obsessive thoughts before bed? Just go ahead and maybe take a walk around the block, deep, uh, breathe deeply. Sometimes watching something on the internet can you know, distract you. Laza Maria is in Paris, 38 years old. Well, if anybody wants to call her, you guys in the, in, the, um, in, here, in the UK, focus on your breath. Yes, watch Douglas's videos. Yes, absolutely. And Rob just put up his email address. Mark Lenz says, authenticity seeker. And anyone who else is lonely, we are your friends now on this channel. You're not alone. Hang in there. Absolutely. And N. The hard part about depression is when you're recovering from it, there are so many broken pieces to pick up before you feel normal. Yes, it took me nine months during my last breakdown, but it does happen. Anybody in London, says Leia. Well, there's a lot of people close to you, I'm sure. I know you miss your home, your pup and the granddaughter. Oh, I have always you. Where are they right now? Great, Asar, I'm sorry you feel you're at the end of the, uh, uh, your rope. I can send you some stuff that might help you feel better. Um, all right, Opal Tyndall, people are putting up their email addresses. That's great. So, you know, write them down and try to go ahead and, and support each other. Oh, they won't let me see you or her. That's too bad. Well, it sounds like you've had a lot of loss, Lori. I'm really sorry about that. Can the brain recover completely after a burn, burnout breakdown? Yes, I'm living proof. I was close to being a vegetable a number of occasions, and here I am, happy-go-lucky, waiting to go on a bike ride. It's a beautiful day in Oregon. By the way, has anyone seen the movie It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood about Mr. Rogers? That guy was a saint. This guy was going to tell her husband about an affair that didn't happen. Well, 
Uh, uh, you know what, uh, Lorianne? I'm going to give you a number to call, okay? Here's Leia's email address. Uh, I want you to call Silent Unity, okay? This is a 24-hour prayer line, and tell them your cares and your stars, okay? Uh, okay. Sign the unity one eight one six nine six nine two thousand, and if you if you uh, if you basically put in uh, Silent Unity in your web browser, you'll get to their website. You can actually uh, send in a prayer request on their website, or you can call that number. So, uh, Lorianne, please call them. It really help you feel better. And I also hope you have your own counselor and therapist. My, for heaven's sakes, you, you're going through a lot. Just saw a beautiful day in the neighborhood last week. It was good, but the document "Won't You Be My Neighbor" is better. Absolutely, of course. Yes, that was that was the classic. I wish there was a purpose in life. There is. You just have to find it. I still I still email Unity for prayers. Very good, Kelly Irving. Well, tell everybody out here how much it helps. A joke, a joke. My kingdom for a joke. Why haven't you guys been saying jokes today? Maybe you're too serious. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Uh, one hand comes up to another and says, I, I hear you have a new dating app. The, yes, the other hand says, yes, I do. It's called Hatch.com. And why couldn't Beethoven find his music teacher? Because he was hiding. All you music lovers will like that. You too scared to go outside? Wow. Um, well, what about having some friends come and visit you? Find a stream, put your hand in water, and feel the pain float away. That's very, very nice. Okay, authentic seeker. We'll look, we'll look at the Archons. I'll go on, on, on the internet and look them up. How do you organize a space party? You plan it. Very good, Anthony Olson. Cool. Thank you. I wish you guys the best. Years ago, I thought depression was a bull. I sure know better these days. I'm so much better than I was last year. Hang in there. Yes, be patient. I told my doctor I didn't want brain surgery, but he changed my mind. That is very, very funny. Very, very funny. Mark Glenn has just put up his email address. You know, after I sign off in a minute, you guys can still uh, go up and down the thread. Can you go ahead and actually move it up and down like I can and see what people said before? Because you can copy uh, the email addresses down if you want to. What's Brown sits on a pineal stool? Beethoven's first movement. That is so bad. Oh my goodness. I just love I, I got a copy. That is that is gross but brilliant. A man orders a five dollar hot from a monk, he pays with a ten dollar bill, but he doesn't get any money back. He asks the monk, what's up? The monk says a change must come from within. Yes, I, I've heard that one. All right, Rob, I think this is the second time you've posted your email address, but go for it. Let's remember that we made it, it this far. Thank you. How many years does it take for anxiety and symptoms to go away after a breakdown? Well, that depends on the person. For me, it took nine months. Well, one time, it only took me two months. But they do go away. That is the point. I had brain surgery 12 years ago. You did Lazy Air Ranch? Well, good. You're lonely? Well, yes, I know how that feels like, Lorianne. Well, maybe you can find some people to come visit. Or maybe you can call Silent Unity and talk to someone over the phone. That helps. Yes, Jason, what a lovely... I wish you guys could all get together and meet each other. Boy, that would be fun, wouldn't it? How many grammar teas does it take to change a light bulb to? <laughs> all right. It's 1 o'clock. 96 people watching. Thank you for being here. What did the brain cell say to the other brain cell? I think I feel a connection. Pulling the strings, you're, you're the best. It's not your joke. I don't care as long as you're passing on. I found a share and they found nothing. <laughs> all right. What happens when Phil Kerner went to the Coliseum? He gave thumbs down. Oh, that's really bad. All right. Well, how do you catch a unique rabbi? Unique up on him. Didn't quite get that. Oh, unique. Unique. Yes. All right. Thanks, Bigger Tales. Thanks, Al Libby. Thanks, you all. Thanks, Lazy Eye Ranch, Don Fortier. You're good uh, um, role models for recovering from depression. Remember, never give up. What did the Dalai Lama say? Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. And I will just post that message and I'm going to go outside 
and the beautiful sunshine. N E V E R give. Okay, you guys, see you on the 15th of March. Hasta luego, or as we say in the epileptic word, seizure later. Well, thank you, Lorianne. I hope that was for me. Bye, Michael, Michelle, Leah. Okay, people sh are sharing their emails. How do I get out of here? Oh, yes, I have to say stop streaming. All right, see you later.